All right, so it's time to talk about Star Wars Outlaws, Ubisoft's upcoming Star Wars game. Now, let me be clear about this. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan in the world. I like the original trilogy of movies, the second trilogy, the prequels. I mean, they were fine for what they were. I, I haven't really watched the newer ones, you know, just because, I don't know, I don't really have an interest to, but I've always liked Star Wars video games. Like, as a kid, I loved Star Wars video games because at that time, you only had the, the, the first three movies. Like, the prequels weren't out yet or anything like that. So you had, you know, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire and stuff like that. Really fun games and a game that I hope gets brought to modern platforms. And even with more newer Star Wars games, I always find myself at the very least interested in them. And Star Wars Outlaws, you know, in the preview footage, the gameplay footage that we saw, I always thought this game had a lot of potential. But we've gotten a bunch of new information on Star Wars Outlaws. Everyone's already talked about this, but I'm going to give my two cents on it because... You know why not? What's another? What's another video on Star Wars Outlaws? It, obviously, the the world needs to hear what RGT has to say because I have quite a few things to say about this game. Is Ubisoft ruining Star Wars Outlaws? So, obviously, we got some. We got an information dump. The game will be coming out on August thirtieth, and you know that's that's cool. It's a good time for the game to come out. And one of the one of the reasons why this game has been getting some scrutiny is because of our lead character here and a lot of people feel like she's kind of ugly now i'm gonna go ahead and be honest with you i think she looks kind of cute you know she's not the like the the hottest chick in the world or anything like, I, I don't even know if i could say this kind of stuff anymore online she's not the she's not the hottest chick in the world but i, I think she looks cute you know she just looks like, like you know an, an average chick you know nice eyes i think it's the hair and like that's what kind of holds me back because like this hairstyle feels very like 1980s your mom is sitting there on the couch chain smoking cigarettes you know that mel gibson picture where he's it's like oh the 80s mom's watching you open up your christmas presents like i feel i get that sort of vibe from the hair but like beyond that like i, I don't know I, I don't really care i'm not you know much like much like stellar blade which is the polar opposite i'm not here to be attracted to video game characters like there are real women in the world that you could be attracted to i don't know but here's where the problems sort of lie with this game it is all these stupid additions of the game you could see here of course of course we have to have all these godforsaken different we can't just release a game anymore and that just be the game no 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 we have to have all these different editions of it so we have the standard edition which is the base game you get a pre-order bonus as well that's your 70 dollars then of course you have the gold edition for 109.99 110 dollars and you get the season pass you get a three days early access and look like these things suck but like i'm a piece of crap who sometimes supports these things because I did it with WWE 2K24. I'm just going to keep it a buck with you. But at least that game has an online multiplayer component. So you want to get the jump on people. Then you have the Ultimate Edition, which comes with the Season Pass, with Jabba's Gambit, three days early access, the pre-order bonus, the Sabak Shark Bundle, Rogue Infiltrator Bundle, a digital art book. Like, who uses digital art books? The thing about art books like back in the day was like they were cool to have because you liked the game and you could like flip through the art book. Uh, wh who uses, I want to know in the comments, who uses digital art books? How many of you have ever sat there and read through a digital freaking art book for a video game? I don't think it's, it's any of you. I don't think any of you have ever done that. And if I'm wrong on that, then that's fine. Because I'm sure there'll be one jerk off who's like, I love digital art books. I go through them all the time. And it's like, yeah, sure you do, pal. Where are the receipts? I want, I want receipts as well for this. But it's like, all this stuff is crap. And like, none of this, like, if you're doing a three-day early access just change the release like you made the release date i get it you're trying to give 
added incentive but if you're buying the game on day one you are the core fan base you might not be the core fan base with a bunch of money to waste but just things like this i don't they just feel hey you, know, you get you get all this crap here you get a bonus pack oh look you get some different you get some different outfits that's cool you know i i guess if you you like to play dress up in in games but like i don't know it just feels like there is a bit of a negative connotation with this game and then of course you have the whole other side of the things that is happening with this as well and then of course you have the other thing that's happening with this is that you need an internet connection to install the game even if you buy it physically now i understand we're in the digital era nobody cares about about stuff like that you don't care now but eventually you will care but even if you buy the physical edition you need the internet to install the game now you know obviously when you're talking about a digital edition fine that makes sense but when you buy a physical edition that's not really supposed to be the case and in a statement to ign ubisoft said that the internet will be required to install the game in any future updates but otherwise you, no don't get away from me um users can play it offline so like okay but why do i need the internet like oh so once again like what what's the disc there's a disc that obviously doesn't have all the stuff on here and i think it's all these little things that just show like the problem with modern AAA gaming you know there's always you know yes there are some outlier companies that don't do things like this but your major third-party companies they always do things like this the the ultimate edition the special edition oh you want this content well you got to do this that and the other oh you want this well we need more money you want to play the game a few days early well we need more money for that too oh yeah you could play the game offline but you have to download the game so what's going to end up happening is eventually this game server the things that you're required to download stuff will go away so unlike the aforementioned star wars shadows of the empire where if you have a n64 and a cartridge or an emulator of course you could play that game play the whole experience just like you did on day one even in a better manner because you could get updated visuals and change controllers and stuff like that with star wars outlaws you're going to have a game that eventually will be a lost game and like yeah a lot of people don't care about it now but in 20 years you might care you know it, it, it's it's tough to say it's tough to say because it's something that we've been talking about over and over and we seem to be coming back to the same thing with this with this online stuff and yes there are tons of benefits to online you know ease of use um allowing independent developers to get their games out there and i totally get it and i totally get why it is a portion of gaming but i just feel like it shouldn't be the main focal point because what's going to end up happening is is just chaos you know these companies are getting way too much power when it comes to things like this and unfortunately and like i said i'm guilty of this too so i'm not casting shade on anyone but unfortunately people buy into these things you know you could sit there like their their youtube video for this game it got disliked a bunch it's like who cares you know call of duties get disliked all the time but what happens people still buy the shit so it doesn't matter it's you got to speak with your wallet and like i don't know i'm too interested in this game to, to to want to do something like that like granted i could probably get a review copy for the game and i probably will try to get a review copy because i like it i like the world that they've crafted i like how the game seems to play out i like all the different elements from it but the fact that there's just all this sort of stuff tied into it it definitely kind of dampens the hype it you know it puts a damper on the on the upcoming experience but i already know it's going to happen by the time the game comes out in august all this will be forgotten it'll be a game that people probably end up really like i don't know if they'll end up liking it because it might not be a good game but if the game is a good game all this will be forgotten and we'll be doing this for another game because it, that's the cycle that's the modern gaming cycle we get outraged at something but then what ends up happening we end up accepting it so what the hell are you supposed to do you're damned if you do you're damned if you don't i don't know i i still think the game looks cool though so let me know in the comment section down below are you still gonna buy this game i mean it is an ubisoft game so there is always that chance that it'll get a discount 
pretty early on in the release cycle but you got to remember this is also a star wars game which means the disney license is attached to it and i could feel like disney being like hey you can't drop the price of this because we need money give us your money and like you know playing playing a role in that in the grand scheme of things so let me know in the comment section down below what you're feeling about this game let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite digital art book is you freaking liar because you've never looked at a digital art book you've never you might have looked at like three pages of it and then you moved on with your life and you completely did it so let, let me know about that too in the comments and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later